Hello stampers. My name is Linda Bedinger. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Denver, Colorado. And this is my buddy Puccini. He keeps me company in the craft room. We have just the very most fun set of cards for you today. I am uh, making six cards by one six by six sheet of designer series paper and they're Christmas cards. I'm really excited about this because it really did come out pretty. So let's just get started. Okay, here is the six by six piece of paper that I am using. And this is all from the Peaceful Bows paper. And this paper is just gorgeous. There's this piece that I used here and I just cut the 12 by 12 down in half and in half again. So I got four pieces like that. This is some of the other paper. I think that would make a stunningly beautiful one. This one is fun because it introduces all other different kinds of colors in there. This one and this one, I think that might be it. Um, and I think all of them would make just beautiful cards. Now the one that I used, which was this one, I chose particularly because First of all, it was very bright. I chose this one particularly because it has both real red cherry cobbler, uh, a shaded spruce, and this is meant to be old olive, but I used garden green with it because we had this combo pack of ribbon that is real red and garden green. And you can see that the garden green matches that color pretty darn close. So that's what I use. Now I'm going to show you what I did. Uh, this is a representation of how I cut these, this paper. And you do have to cut it a certain way, um, otherwise you end up in trouble. So uh, this is cut two inches across here. And then this is six inches, so two inches and two inches. So two, four, six. And I've already cut one, so I'm going to bring them back here so I can show them to you. Two inches, two inches, oops, two inches. <laughs> I'll get it straight here in a minute. Um, two inches, and then this one I cut two inches by two inches and then sliced it diagonally. Then the next cut that you need to make is this one over here. This isn't exactly to scale, but it's one and a half inches by four inches or the remaining four inches that are left on this piece of paper. Then you cut this quarter inch strip from the bottom here. Then you cut these two pieces here at the top, which are three quarters of an inch by four and a half inches. And then you're left with one piece, so it's four and a half by two and a half, and I just cut that one in half, so two and a quarter by two and a half. And that's how you cut this piece of paper. Now, let me show you the cards that I made. I'm going to try to make this a PDF and put it on my blog so you can just download it. But I'll also have all of the cutting instructions and exactly how to cut the paper both below the video and on my blog. So this is the paper that I started with. And uh, let's, let's go back to this. And the first thing I'm going to do is take two of these two by two. And I want to show you on this one particularly. You see how this, the way it cut, there's hardly any pattern on it. But this is the card that I made with it. And so I put these on the diagonal and you can see they overlap one another to fit on this piece of paper. So by overlapping them like this, you don't even see that there isn't much of a pattern on there and it's under this ribbon. So uh, you can make that work or you can be very careful about how you're going to cut the paper, maybe put some pencil marks on it so you get it, so you turn it whichever way is going to give you the best cuts. Um, so this is one of the cards, and I put this on a shaded spruce background. 
Uh, red is four by five and a quarter. White is three and three quarters by five. These pieces are two inches by two inches, so the red mat is two and a quarter by two and a quarter. And I didn't raise anything because I was going to put this ribbon across and then this bow here. And so this is using those two pieces of paper. And on the inside, very simple. I just repeated the pattern of the paper layers and put in Tis the Season, which reminds me, I used Brightest Glow because it was nothing but um, seasonal um, uh, greetings. So uh, there is my Tis the Season right there. And I used Season's Greetings. I used May the Peace to You and Yours, Merry Christmas, Wishing You a Season, Hoping Your Christmas Shines Bright. Uh, and I think that's all I used from this one for these cards. Okay, so that takes care of those two pieces of paper, and that's my card number one. The next one is one of these larger pieces here, and um, on this one I miscut it. I cut through all the way down to the bottom, and I did not cut this piece out. So your choice, whether you want it to be a little bit bigger piece and do away with this one or not. Um, and then I matted this in green in the shaded spruce and used a shaded spruce uh, card base. Red again four by five and a quarter, white three and three quarters by five. And on this one I used the the ribbon um, that is the garden green and you can see here how it picks up the um, colors in the paper. And I think it's a pretty good match. And on this one, I just stamped right on the card here, to you and yours this Christmas. And then on the inside, may the peace of the season light your world and may your new year be the brightest. Put a piece of ribbon across here. And that is my card number two. The next one is utilizing these two little um, corner pieces here. And what I did was I put this one on a white card base, I used garden green at four by five and a quarter. I used red at three and three quarters by five. And then I put these down with a pretty good margin on the inside to frame my season's greetings and put a little bit of the ribbon here in that shape. And then I used on the embellishments on that one, I used these elegant faceted gems and I used on here this uh, pearlized enamel effects real red and it's kind of a pinky red but um, it, it worked out pretty well and so I just put a few of those down on there on the inside wishing you a season of hope and light and a little bit more ribbon just a ribbon knot and that is my card number three and this one is the other large piece. And again, this would be a little bit smaller if you cut this little quarter inch piece. Uh, otherwise, it would be just a little bit shorter. And I put a um, garden green base on this one, white, four by five and a quarter. Then I cut this banner three inches by four inches and then just cut the banner tail out here. Then I put this um, piece of designer series paper, put the garden green ribbon across there and a bow in here. And on that one, I used our red rhinestones. And I really think it came out pretty and the Merry Christmas, it's a beautiful font on that Merry Christmas. And on the inside, I did, I repeated, uh, but added the red between the white and the garden green, added a piece of the ribbon. And again, you could stamp another sentiment in here if you chose to. Um, that is my card number four. Then card number five is using these two strips here. And I put one, uh, I put it on a, a shaded spruce background with a red four by five and a quarter. And then I put down these two strips in here, one more towards the top and one more towards the bottom. And then I stamped my Merry Christmas 
just using my trimmer cut out this tag and matted it a quarter inch larger and put the bow down here and again the red rhinestones on this one and wishing you a season of hope and light and so that is my card number five and then that uses I think we've used all the pieces now except these two and what I did here was I made a card that went this way and uh, this was one and a half by four so my green piece my shaded spruce piece is one and three quarters by four and a quarter and then the white is two inches by four and a half and layered this on the green and then raised that on dimensionals and put it on the white did my season's greetings and then I'm looking at this little piece that I, I was trying not to have any waste. So I cut a half an inch off this bottom piece here and put it on the inside so you'd see it both from the outside and the inside and then put another greeting on the inside. Now you could doll this one up with a little bit more ribbon across here. In fact, I think that would look great. Take either some of this red or some of this I think the green would be better for contrast and put um, in fact if you put that green across the bottom you could put this little piece of paper on it and I think that would look lovely although that's pretty nice too so lots you can do and use your imagination with this because I'm going to move this out of the way and I'll put it back in a minute if you want to get a screenshot of it um, but think about I could have used a white base and then different greens here or reds uh, and I wanted to show using all three well I used a red base I used a shaded spruce base I used a garden green base and I used a red base and you could mix this up any way you wanted and all of these Christmas cards came from a sheet of paper that size so when you have a piece of paper like this and you cut it into four pieces six by six if you can make six cards then you can make six twelve eighteen twenty four you get two sheets that's 48 cards and you can choose to use this one for another one again you know six twelve eighteen twenty four two of these another 48 cards i'm up to 96 now and i haven't even looked at any of the other paper in here so if you want a fast and easy and inexpensive way to put your Christmas cards together this year, this would be it because you can get away with one package of designer series paper, a little bit of ribbon, a little bit of cardstock, and you're off to the races. So that is my project for the day. Thank you so much for stopping by my YouTube channel today. I do so appreciate it. And if you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, well, I'd love to be your demonstrator. Or you could join my team. Um, there's a join offer going on now um, with Stampin' Up! That is the normal offer, which is $125 worth of product for $99. And then there's also an additional uh, planner. Uh, it's a, a, a notebook planner. I think it's eight and a half by nine, so it's pretty good size. It's got all of the pages, the dividers. It's an 18-month calendar. It's got uh, stickers. It's got all kinds of things that you can use on the inside of the planner to uh, make it fun to keep your calendar. And it's got a stamp set that I think 28 stamps <laughs> that goes with that planner. And so it's a pretty good deal. So um, that is that. My prize draw for the month is always a $60 shopping spree on me. And you can get into my drawing by placing an order of any size on my store, lbedinger.stampinup.net. And you can get to it through my blog, www.inkandingenuity.com. And so um, that's it for me. Um, it's time to launch into the Christmas cards. It's already August. That's usually when I start. Uh, I'm tickled to get this underway. And I am going to utilize this 6x6 six six and make a ton of my own Christmas cards 
uh, just using this material. So uh, thanks again for stopping by, and I'll be back soon with more cards, more projects, and more tips. Bye!